Peace. My name is Misty Moon and I am an integrative health coach for women. And my purpose is to help women heal physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And today I'm going to talk about the mental aspect of healing through keeping your cool while living in a heated world. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so it's no secret that our world is immensely inflamed right now. We got COVID, we have race riots, we have political elections coming up soon here in the United States, and we have everything else in between. And what I've been finding lately when I do engage with friends, it's almost the same thing. It's the same story, it's the same emotions, it's frustration, it's anger, it's confusion, it's fear, and all those emotions are absolutely valid. However, it's why they are feeling these emotions that concerns me because these emotions are engineered. When you look at the news, the news is telling you the same thing, the same facts, but they're sensationalized in order to get you to react because that's what gives them their ratings, not necessarily reporting the news. So we have the opportunity to be able to take control of our domain. We need to read take control of our domain. We've allowed the media, we've allowed excess ex external circumstances to control our domain. And so I just wanna offer five easy tips that you can do to keep your cool within this heated world that we're currently living in. Okay, so the first tip that I have to offer, it's a no brainer, it's common sense. I've even spoken about this in my other videos. And that's consuming the news, consuming media in moderation. Now, when it comes to the news, oftentimes people get home and they turn it on and it's it's mostly white noise. Like you're, you know, making dinner as the news is on or you're getting home and taking your clothes off from work for the day. So instead of having it on constantly, choose a particular time frame, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes or an hour that you're going to consume that news and then after that, turn it off. And then to take it a step further, what I highly recommend is to do one positive thing immediately after consuming the news. And that could be something as simple as choose one song that you love and you dance your butt off to that song. Or maybe you just sing your heart out to that one particular song that you love. Or maybe go for a walk around the neighborhood. Or you can even maybe like um, go to Spotify and choose like one stand up, you know, lineup to listen to for 10 minutes. But what that does, it, it begins to neutralize um, the, 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 the negative information that you're taking in from the news because we know it's going to be negative whenever you put on the news. It's going to be something that's going to be disturbing, no matter if it's politics or what's happening with COVID, whatever it might be. So allow yourself to neutralize that with something positive. And this is something else that I love. I love the suggestion. You also want to value or to give your emotions space. It's something else I always talk about, feeling your emotions. So allow yourself to have a worry time. So maybe like right after watching the news, okay, let's, let's rewind a little bit. So maybe right after watching the news, give yourself about 15, 20 minutes to process the information that you took in so you can feel your emotions, be upset, be disturbed, be fearful, all those things, give it space. But then after that, cut it off and move on with the rest of your day instead of letting it fester inside of your nervous system. So give yourself worrying time and then do something positive immediately after that so that you can create a balance, okay? So the second tip. So tip number two. And this is very easy, it's common sense, but you'll be amazed at how most of us neglect this particular one and how powerful this tip can be to keeping us mentally and emotionally cool within a heated world. And that is drink plenty of water. Studies have shown that dehydration leads to higher cortisone levels, which is a stress hormone, making it harder to deal with everyday stress. Okay, so the rule of thumb is that you take your weight, you divide that by two, and that's the minimum of ounces of water to drink per day. Okay, I'm going to share something with you that I do. So based on my weight, I need to drink, uh, 
let's see, about 90 ounces of water. So I drink four of these a day. These are like 24 ounces. Yeah, these are 24 ounces of mason jar. Maybe it's 32, I forget. But I need to drink four of these a day. So what I do, since I have a really busy life, and it's really hard for me to keep track of how much water I'm consuming, I put four rubber bands on the on the rim of uh, the mason jar. And every time I complete uh, a whole you know, jar of water, mason jar of water, I take off the rubber band. And that, that helps me gauge. I'm telling you, since I've been doing that, it really has been a game changer. I mean, yeah, you run into the bathroom every 15, 20 minutes to pee, but I'm staying hydrated. And guess what? I'm cool as a cucumber, despite how inflamed the world is right now. Okay? So drink plenty of water. So the third tip that I have, which is super easy and one of my personal favorites, and that is standing on grass for at least five minutes barefoot. Why is that? Because we're all energy, <laughs> right? And it's not this new age concept. It's science. We can all agree that we are all energy. And the Earth's surface, it has a negative charge and it's constantly generating electrons that neutralizes free radicals. And what does that mean? That means the earth acts as an anti antioxidant. And we often think of antioxidants that we only can get it from food, but we actually can get it from our direct contact with the earth. And what this does, it, it's taking the excessive energy out of our body to help calm our nervous system, it helps us to release endorphins, so it helps us get out of fight or flight mode, and therefore it helps us to feel calm. And I'll share a personal experience that I had. Pretty much all my life, I had anxiety. Wake up in the morning, anxiety for no reason at all. I just got used to just having this constant like anxiety ball of energy in my body. And then once I started going outside and staying barefoot on grass, which is, which is really not that, that long ago, it was only since June that I started implementing this into my life, I've not had, had anxiety since. Five minutes a day, standing on grass, completely cured my anxiety. It's really amazing. So I highly recommend it. And so for those of you that live in an apartment, maybe you don't have access to grass, the earth is still underneath you. Even if you just, even if you live upstairs, just by standing on your floor barefoot, that energy is still going to connect to the, to the earth, even though it may have to go through some concrete, you know, a few different floors in order to get down to the, to the surface, but you still can use this exercise. Okay. So my fourth tip, and I, again, I've talked about this before in other videos is having a morning practice. A morning practice is everything because you're fresh out of your dream world you're susceptible to any stimuli that that you take on from the world so in a morning practice can be very simple it could just be the moment you get out of bed you just breathe intentionally for five ten breaths or you meditate which is ideal or maybe you listen to some jazz music or some really relaxing music. Maybe you journal. But whatever you do, you do not let any external stimuli come into your mental space when you first wake up in the morning. Okay? Really, really simple. And then the fifth, the fifth, the fifth, the fifth one, the final one, the tip that I have for you to help you keep cool in a heated world is heart coherence. And I've talked about this before in a handful of videos because I truly believe in the power of heart coherence because it's really simple and it's profound. Okay, so what is heart coherence to those who are not familiar with it? So heart coherence is this, is that our heart, this organ that pumps blood throughout our body, has its own intelligence. Science, card cardiologists, physiologists, psychologists, they all got together back in the 70s and realized that the heart actually has neurons. So when you tap into your heart space, this is what you do. You take about a few minutes just to get yourself calm by taking some deep breaths and just get into your natural rhythm. And then you think of one memory that made you feel amazing. Maybe it was your wedding day. Maybe it was the birth of your child. Maybe it was when you moved into your new home. Whatever that one memory may be, you think about that memory because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's a memory. 
So what you're doing is by having that memory, you're releasing the endorphins in your body. And that also starts to calm you down. That also starts to suppress the, the fight or flight uh, nervous system, right? So you have that positive emotion. Your hand is on your heart. You're breathing very slowly and very calmly. And what that does, it takes all that mental energy, all that mental chatter, the fear, the worry, the anxiety, and it brings you into this, this peaceful place. And heart coherence can take two to five minutes. It doesn't have to take that long. And perhaps this is a tool that you could use before watching the news, before turning on the television, just to get yourself grounded so that when you're taking in this information that the news is feeding you, you're not taking it in from this hyper ungrounded emotional place. You're able to be very just clear and objective when you're taking in the news or it's something that you can do after. So I hope these tips worked, okay? So uh, media in moderation and within that tip, do something positive right after watching the news, limiting your worry time when consuming the news, drinking plenty of water. Again, take your weight, divide it by two. That's the recommended minimum amount, amount of ounces to consume each day. And number three, standing on grass for five minutes. Number four, your morning practice. Your mornings are precious to you. Really take advantage of that. And number five, heart coherence, okay? So these are five easy tips to keep cool, to keep cool in an inflamed, heated world. So I hope that helped. I hope that offered some value. If it did, please like and subscribe to help me spread my light because we're living in very, um, it's exciting right now. There's a lot, there's a, a lot happening. Our world is transitioning. We, and this is a time for us to really start lifting up our vibrations, to really get grounded, to really get clear, to really step, tap into our purpose because we were not created to suffer everyone. We were not created to live in fear. The fear and, and the stress, that's a catalyst to get us to become more evolved. That's a catalyst for us to raise our vibration. So you can choose to stay in that vibration of suffering and fear and worry, or you can use that as an alchemical process to get to the other side and to be happy, to be sustainable, to be co-creators. And just because you are at that level does not mean that stress and triggers are not going to come, but it's how you react to them that will shift. Because joy True joy is being able to embrace both the light and the shadow because life is duality. There's no way around it. So anyway, I hope that this video helped most much love and light to you all. And I look forward to the next video. Okay. Until then, peace.